video today we're going to take a look at some second year material for the start so this comes from the applied module so it's going to be quite a short video really um, we're just going to take a look at pmcc hypothesis testing so with the pmcc material there is sometimes included with or this is sometimes included with uh, non-linear regression i'm going to not include that in this video i'll do that in a separate video i think it's better to just kind of split up into two um, so yeah, so primarily this video just for PMCC hypothesis testing. Like I said, this is new to the spec, so it's quite a short video. Only two questions, um, and they're not too long to do. So let's just jump straight into these questions. Um, so yeah, so this first question here, this is from the new papers. This was the June 2018 uh, paper three, so the applied paper. So this was the first paper um, that had stats and mechanics on it. And this was the second question from the stats part. So with these questions, you will need your final book. Now for this video, I've included the table here just so we can see what we're looking for and how to find the correct values. Um, but obviously make sure you do know how to use your final book anyway. It is an important skill. So let's take a look at this question then. Um, like you see, it's only three marks. And the reason for that is because they do a lot of the work for you and they give you the PMCC. So because they give you the PMCC, there's not actually too much we need to do here. Um, it's just literally setting up the hypothesis test, um, comparing the test statistic with a critical value, and then either we accept H0 or we reject H0. So basically, all you need to do, or all you need to know here, is how to define your hypotheses, and then how to compare the test statistic to the critical value, and whether you accept or reject. So let's start with the hypotheses. So this is a hypothesis test, so we should always state our hypotheses to start with. So we've got H0, we have H1, so just like any other hypothesis test. Now the parameter that we use here when we're doing a hypothesis test for the product moment correlation coefficient is the Greek letter rho. So if you're not familiar with rho, it's kind of like a P, but it's a little bit slanted like that. Um, and again, something that looks like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just so you can tell it's rho. Now for our H0, we always say that rho is equal to zero. And with H1, it could be three possible options. So it can either be greater than zero, it can be less than zero, or it can be not equal to zero. Okay, and if it's not equal to zero, that's what we call a two-tailed test, which you should be familiar with from your first year material. Um, I think in this video, it is just one-tailed test, so it's gonna be either greater than or less than, but you can possibly have a two-tailed test. However, it's not been asked on the 2018 or the 2019 paper. So I haven't featured it in this video, but if you do have any questions about that, just drop a comment down below. So what we need to decide now is whether this is greater than or less than. And the way to tell is just to read the question carefully. So if you look at part A here, it says stating your hypothesis clearly and using a 5% level of significance, test whether or not the correlation between sales figures and average weekly temperature is negative. So if we're testing here whether the correlation between these two variables is negative, then we're saying rho is less than zero, okay? If it's less than zero, it's negative, okay? So it should just make sense. Obviously, we were testing um, for positive correlation or something to that degree, then this would be greater than zero. Okay, so that's our hypothesis. That's the first part we need there. So now we need the test statistic, and we also need the critical value. So the test statistic is usually always given with these questions. And again, we just simply get that from reading the question. So if we read the first paragraph here, um, the context doesn't matter too much. Basically, someone owns a small clothes shop in a seaside town. And what we're told is the important bit here on this line at the bottom is that the PMCC for this data is minus 0.915. Okay, so the PMCC for the data is what we use as our test statistic, okay? For the critical value, this is where we require the use of our formula book, okay? And like I said, I've included that here, but make sure you've got your own version when you're doing any mock papers um, or any practice for questions like this. Now, when you're on the correct page, it's split into two parts. What you have is the PMCC, and you also have Spearman's coefficient. You don't need to worry about Spearman's coefficient, so you ignore this part. All we're concerned about is this part of the table here. And it's split into a few parts. 
But what we've got first is what's called the level. And the level is the level of significance. So we're told here it's a 5% level of significance. So 5%. So in that case, that would be 0 0.05. Okay, so we're in that column. And we also need the sample size. So for this question, we just need to read the question again to determine the sample size n. So in this case, n, if we read the question, she recalls the weekly sales figures and the average weekly temperature. And it's for eight weeks. So if we're looking at the average weekly temperature and it's for eight weeks, that means n equals eight. Okay? So n is equal to eight. So what we do is we go across from eight here. So if I just change my pen color just so it's kind of clear what we're looking at and how we obtain this value. So we go across from eight here. So we go across from eight and we go across until we intercept with the 0 0.05. So if you look, that's going to be this value here, this 0 0.6215. And if you haven't done questions like this before, you might be wondering straight away, what do we do here? Because we've got a positive value. But this value is given as if you were doing a positive test. Here, our PMCC value is negative. So all we do is we change our critical value to be negative as well. So that's minus 0 0.6215. Okay. And what we do now is we're basically done. All we have to do is compare our test statistic to our critical value. And we decide from there if we accept or reject. So here, this minus 0 0.915, our TS is smaller, so it's less than our critical value, minus 0 0.6215. Okay. Now, how do we decide whether we accept or reject? Well, in this case, if we think about what we're looking at with our hypotheses, the H1, we said rho is less than zero, it's negative. And this minus 0 0.915, our test statistic here, is closer to a perfect negative correlation than the critical value. So because we're closer to our H1 here, what we do is we reject H0. We're saying H1 is more than likely the correct assumption here. So we reject H0, so we reject H0, and we say there is evidence, so there is evidence, Of a negative correlation, you can you can you can state the variables that it's between the correlation if you want. Um, to say there is evidence of a negative correlation, um, I believe would be fine here. But that's what we need to say there, and we do need to just kind of give that quick um, point there at the end. So we we always say reject or accept, but then we need to just say whether there is evidence or there is insufficient evidence. Okay, and that's it. That's all we need to do for this one. Okay, so like we can see, questions are pretty brief and the answers are just as brief as well. But that gives our solution there for question two. So let's take a look now at the last question in this video. Again, pretty similar. All that will usually change is just the context, but nothing too different between them. Okay, so here, question three. What I'm going to do straight away just to start with is define my hypothesis because that's what we always want to do first. We want to define the hypothesis. So let's just read the question just to see what we're testing here. So we're going to state our hypothesis clearly and test at the 5% level of significance whether or not the PMCC for all countries is greater than zero. So here again, we use the Greek letter rho. So rho is always equal to zero for H0. And for H1, well here again, this is a one-tailed test because it's greater than. And all we need to state then is that rho is greater than zero. Okay, so like the last one was less than, this time it's greater than. So again, another one-tailed test. So we've got our hypotheses here. All we need to do now is define the test statistic and the critical value, and then compare and make our conclusion. So in this case, the test statistic, again, is given in the question. So if we read this paragraph here, this one in the middle, that tells us that our PMCC, so the PMCC between average annual CO2 emissions and average income is 0.446 there. Okay. So that's our test statistic and our critical value, again, we obtain from our formula book. And again, we only care about this left part here, the PMCC. 
we know for this test it's a 5% level of significance. So again, 5%, we're in the 0.05 column. Okay, so 0.05. And in this case, we need to determine what n is, our sample size. And again, we're given that in this middle paragraph. She takes a random sample of 24 countries. So n is equal to 24. So we go across from 24, and again, I'll just change my pen color just to make this clear. So we go across from 24, and we're going down this column, okay? So we go across until we hit the 0.05 value, which is this one here. So in that case, our critical value is going to be 0.3438, okay? And here now, our test statistic 0.446 is greater than the critical value. So it's greater than 0.3438. So here, do we accept H0 or do we reject H0? Well, again, we think about our H1. We're saying for H1 that rho is greater than zero. So now we consider the test statistic and the, great, and the critical value and see which of these values is closer to a perfect positive correlation. Well, in that case, that would be the 0.446 because that's larger than our critical value. So in that case, because that's closer to H1 than H0, we say that um, we're going to reject H0. So it's, when I say it's closer, it's closer than, um, than the critical value, basically. So 0.446 is larger than 0.3438. So we reject H0, reject H0. And we say again that there is evidence that there is evidence um, really we should say at the significance level at the 5% significance level um, at the 5% significance level of a positive correlation okay and again that would suffice there of a positive correlation we don't need to give too much um, of a summary here, just to state basically that there is um, evidence at the 5% significance level of a positive correlation. Okay. And again, that gets us all three marks there, and that gives us our solution to question three. So that concludes this video on PMCC hypothesis testing. Hopefully, you find this helpful. Um, any issues, any errors that you might have noticed in the video, like always, just leave a comment down below. Cheers.